Hello, I am um, been trying different nuts to see which ones I like and see which ones I don't like. So far, uh, I've had success trying to watch what I eat. Not so much. But I have been on vacation, so the past couple days, I should say. Should be going home soon. Uh, I do plan on ordering a new blender for the um, green smoothie diet by JJ Smith. It's not really a diet, it's a cleanse. And it's supposedly a lifestyle change for the most part. So it's going to be very hard. I've done smoothies before, but not really this one. So, um, I'm looking forward to trying it. Never really done it this one in per se. But I've done like different recipes and I didn't really care for a lot of the recipes I've tried. So, um, I'm looking forward to trying this one. Hopefully the recipes ain't as bad. And it's supposed to be all gluten free or whatever. Something like that. Not really gluten free, but you can't really have breads per se, so I should, should say gluten free. And, um, never really done it on this one. But I've tried protein shakes. Well, they're really build replacement shakes. But, um, I've done those. Not really satisfied with them. Uh, I've also done um, different high protein, low carb diets. I've done Slim Fast. Can't do Slim Fast. I'm allergic to it. Something in it makes me break out. Um, I've done Atkins. I've done South Beach. I've done Nutrisystem for six months. Hit a large plateau and I couldn't get past it. Plus the food was nasty and it made me not want to eat TV dinners again. And to this day, I will not eat a TV dinner because of Nutrisystem. I think it's gross. I used to love it, not no more. Um, I will say some of the food on Nutrisystem did taste like cardboard and wasn't so, so much for flavor to pass the cardboard taste. So that was kind of like a waste of $300 a month. So I'll never do that again either. And as for Weight Watchers, I don't recommend Weight Watchers. I will say, um, I don't know what's up the program that they have now, but for me personally, I've gained over about 18 pounds on it in one month. I never gained that much weight in one month before. And I was stuck to points. And then there's days where I did go over and I used some of my rollover points. Because I had gotten, on my thing, 52 points a week. Well, not a week, a day. So that's what I got a day. Now for a week, it was 48 rollover points. That's where it messed me up because it would add on to what I already had for that day. And then, um... When I got on the scale, I hit the number of 342.2, and I'd never been that high in my life before. And I started noticing physical changes as well when I got that high. I started noticing more body pain, more body cramps, uh, in areas like bending. When I'm bending down to reach something, I would have issues as far as that when I was at that number. I would also notice changes as this I'm um, going to bed just to go to sleep. I would also notice changes like, oh, I can't stay on one side for too much longer because the weight is crushing down on my body. Um, never had that problem before, even in the most comfortable bed you can get, which is a silly and it's very expensive. So that's to let me know something is very wrong with that. And um, as far as that goes, 
I've lost, which I probably gained since I've been on vacation a little bit, maybe five, six pounds. But, um, as, so as to say, I went from 242, and before I got on vacation a few days ago, I weighed at, Three, it was 342.2 and I got down to um, 329.3 so about 15.8 pounds maybe from that number total but I wasn't on a consistent diet nor was I doing well watching what I eat but I was doing high protein low carb for a little bit which I was not satisfied with because uh, there's a lot of unnecessary stuff I had to do and I didn't like that so much. And plus it wasn't ready prep. So, um, some of the things I uh, plan on doing with this diet, I plan on planning ahead. So, farthest things on my list to get which is hard to find at work because apparently everybody is canning which they probably should be out of canning season right now but um as far as that goes uh I'm having to buy mason jars just to uh have for my smoothies as if I'm on the go because I know I'm going to need them like on days that I'm working which I only work two days a week so as the blender that I did plan on buying this week, um, that's like a 900 watt blender. It's a Ninja Awesome. I've used Ninjas before. I love them. They're better than cheapy old blenders you buy from Walmart. That's like 20 bucks or under. And the blender I got it now, it's I paid like 15 dollars for. Does not do well. Uh, I I wish I could find where I bought it at, but I know I bought it from Walmart. But I don't remember if I bought it online or at the store. But I will say that blender does not blend good at all because it'll leave chunks of pieces, which should have been chopped up. And as for that, I look forward to getting this new one because I know Ninja does well when it comes to chopping, and it's great for smoothies. And what's also good with it, you can also add ice in it. And it'll chop the ice up in the smoothie. And it gives it a little extra taste. Coldness. And keeps it cold. So that's the one thing I love about Ninjas. Now I never used anything like Nutribullet or Magic Bullet. Whatever you want to call them. But I'm used to Ninja. And it's, I never had personally Ninja. But I've borrowed one before fell in love with it ever since and the one I found on Amazon is like not bad for price compared for a personal blender because that's all I need it's just me anyway drinking them but as for the cleanse I would have to have the recipe because it's such a small blender it's not like one of those great big blenders that you can just make a, a bunch of them at once I would have to separate the recipe and break it in half. Like I did trying with my other blender at home. Which is what I did when I was doing the smoothies. Uh, just The smoothie recipe I used, I actually just randomly found a recipe online. Didn't really care for it because it was such a bland taste. You couldn't really taste much of anything in, but except lettuce. So, and sometimes I would try to find almond butter to put in it to make it taste good. But that didn't work out too good. Because then the, the almond butter be too, over too powering. Or when you put lemon rind and lemon whole lemon wedge in the blender... It would uh, overpower and then you need to put more almond butter and it was just a little bit much. But uh, as for this, I think it will go good. 
these cleanse is 10 days. I, I do plan on doing the full cleanse to see how much I can lose in 10 days. So that I do and then I'll switch to the modify which is like two smoothies and a 500 calorie meal. And you can only eat certain things in it. So, um, that I did look forward to and see where it goes. Because the reason why I chose to do the full cleanse was to try to avoid the detox, get the full detox, get things rolling in my body. So, um, they'll see where it goes and make see if the scale drops. And, um, uh, so far, my number has been anywhere between 329 and 336. So I'm trying to get out of that range and hopefully I can reach my goal of getting doing this lifestyle change, reaching my goal of getting down to 135. That's my comfort zone. Um, I haven't been that number in a long time, not since it closer in my preteens. But of course, back then I was overweight too, compared to my age. Age and height played it to where it made me overweight. But, um, so I look forward to that, getting rich my goal. I probably won't be completely there unless I join the gym or something like that. Which really sucks. But um, I have to join a gym and stuff. And so. To try to sculpt my body. I've been trying to do some walking recently. I was walking every day. Like a mile. And then the weather changes. So it was kind of hard to get anywhere to walk. With the weather change. Like sometimes I got bad weather where I live at. So. When it comes to rain and storms and everything else. So it kind of does uh, backlash. But I did do some indoor walking on those days. But not as much as I would be walking like outside on a track. Just enough to make it, i say, 15-30 minutes that I was doing. But the one thing I did get while I was on vacation, I got me a pedometer. I don't know if it works or not. It's still brand new in its package. But a little dusty on the outside. But I don't know if it works or not. But should. Since it's still in package. But I don't know. But it's hard telling what you get in a thrift store. But um. One of the things I do plan on getting. Eventually. They have a thing out now. Called the R ring. And it's supposed to be dedicated it's to women. Checking your period, everything. It don't it tracks everything from ovulation to uh, exercise, your sleep, everything. But they're like four hundred dollars right now with with tax. So um, with tax, and I'll probably who knows what. After uh, shipping and everything like that. But uh, the aura ring is very interesting to get. And it beats most things. And if you're on something like the patch like me for women per se. It's really hard to know what's next. But uh, that's something key to anybody's health. Especially even in general just anybody. So, as uh, that, I'm like, even a simple uh, Garmin would be good, but none as good as something like that. I'm like, depends on what your needs are. If you're like a total health nut, like I am, trying to figure out the next best thing to uh, keep track of your health, that'd be something you'll probably be after. But, um, 
doing a lot of walking and plus I do do strength training at least two or three times a week so and I have like rest of my week is cardio which is walking and stretching or whatever um, I'm trying to get to where I can run because right now I cannot run I'm too too overweight my weights hurts my joints especially my ankles and my knees because where my legs are too big but um so I've been trying to uh, figure out new workouts to do and stuff like that I've been really trying to do total body workouts because there's area my whole body really needs to be worked on but I do those like two days a week but um as far as the cleanse goes I hope that uh, sticking to a cleanse uh, can help me get to where I need to be health wise and plus where I'm borderline diabetic it gets really hard to um, do things I mean like I'm having to check my blood sugar every now and then I'm having to um, do different things to uh, with my health and uh, so I've been trying to watch that and it's green smoothies is great to uh, de reverse diabetes with and there's been a lot of success stories where people have reversed their diabetes because I'm actually tattooed that like borderline diabetic and um as uh for that I've been trying to watch I do eat healthier items like I'll eat baked chicken or I'll eat grilled fish sometimes I'll swap recipes I do eat a lot of vegetables from that so much fruit because all the sugar and plus it messes with my blood sugar a little bit so I hadn't been eating a lot of that but I do eat a lot of proteins and vegetables and not so much starch stuff. I eat starch and sweet potato. If any kind of potato. So I do look forward to this and um, I'll keep you posted uh, weekly to let you know what's going on with that.